Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and of course we're going to talk a little bit about the future of Windows. A lot of you have been asking questions about this and it's one of the things that is kind of curious for a lot of people. So we did talk about it a little bit last week but um, you know a lot of people had questions um, concerning uh, things that they've seen and they've heard and wondering if you know maybe are we moving ahead in a different direction. So the few things that I have to say and to answer questions. First of all is about Windows 11. I still get a lot of people saying hey, Windows 11 is a thing and it's coming and I see it everywhere. Nope, Windows 11 is not a thing. It doesn't exist and it's not even being worked at on Microsoft and everybody, everybody agrees on that. Everybody knows that Windows 11 is not a thing at Microsoft. Now, somebody, you know, sometimes I get that question, somebody asks, could it be a thing eventually someday? Oh, absolutely. It's not impossible. Microsoft changes its mind. It did say Windows 10 is the last version of Windows. But, you know, somebody somewhere could change its mind tomorrow morning and say, you know what, we're going to build a new OS and we're going to call it Windows 11 or something. But for now, it's not something that is being worked on. Also, we got to understand that Windows not being as important as it used to be. You, you know, Microsoft doesn't have an incentive to really do a new Windows 11. They are going to simply upgrade and make Windows 10 better over time, and that's pretty much it. Uh, a lot of you have been talking about the modern OS that Microsoft is has talked about, and a lot of you are speculating this is Windows 11, this is a new version of Windows that will be more modern. No, it's a different thing. It has to do with uh, IoT, it has to do with different devices, that will be running uh, a different type of Windows, if you want, like on ARM devices and ARM processors. This is where modern um, Windows, you know, modern OS is all about. It's more about devices running a, a different kind of, or a variation of Windows 10 that runs on devices that have ARM processors. Windows 10 on ARM, we haven't heard a lot about it in the past uh, couple of months, but it's, it's still the thing, and we're still looking at, you know, there's devices that are going to run Windows 10, so it's not a new version of Windows 10. Uh, it's really uh, being worked on simply um, a version of Windows 10 that is going to comply and be ready for other types of devices that are not PCs. Now, a lot of you have been talking about how um, 19H2 is not a thing right now and that they're going to skip over it. Uh, look, there's still no news. We still don't know where it's going to come from. We think it's slowing on insider side, but 19H2, yeah, we don't have any news about it. It's very, very quiet on the Microsoft side. That said, we know it's a thing. We know Microsoft is still working on it. So that means at some point, someday, we're going to wake up and it's going to be, oh, 19H2 build, look at that. Um, that's going to be the future for this year. The reason why we don't hear a lot about it, and it, I think it hints at how very little new features that will be in there. And that basically will be kind of, uh, you know, maybe we could talk about what people know from the past with a service pack. It will still be a big build. I mean, it will still reinstall Windows pretty much, but it's going to be minor features, tweaks here and there on the, you know, user interface, stuff like that. But it's not going to be a new version uh, with tons of, you know, new features in it. It's really just going to be um, a little tweak of what we have already with the May 2019 update. One of the reasons behind this is that uh, Enterprise will have a 30-month upgrade uh, time for the next version, which is the uh, October 2019 update that pretty much we think is going to be the name. Um, that version of 1909, 1910, or whatever, um, is going to be um, with very little features because enterprise are probably going to want to upgrade to that version to get that 30 months of support uh, because they have extended support on it. Also, 20 H1, a lot of people, once again, asking me questions, saying, you know, these builds are boring. There's not a lot on, on, on what's happening. And um, why isn't there more? I think we got to understand that with the way Microsoft has changed in the past couple of months, uh, the new update phase where you're not being, you know, forced into a new version, um, having these updates that 
actually appear as a you know separate update that you don't have to do actually uh, that are different from you know cumulative updates important cumulative updates for security is showing us that they're actually taking it easy they're slowing down the pace of all of these new features and all this stuff happening I think they understand that a lot of these new features people don't use and for the most part people want to have more stability and have a better experience with Windows 10 I think that's where we're heading and that's why it's slowing down the progress of Windows 10 got to think that ni next year Windows 7 is going to expire uh, you know well you know end of support in January now um, that will possibly push a certain number if not a big chunk of people in enterprise and to maybe going to Windows 10 as they had resisted until now to do this and 20H1 might be a build where a little bit of new features yes but a um, a stability that will kind of make people want to go to that new version of Windows 10 and maybe that's why it's so slow because let's you know one of the things you got to know is yeah we get on the front when we look at it you know I just did a, a quick review of build 18912 which is for next year on the forefront there's one little feature which is narrator but in the background the things that we don't see there are tons of fixes and tons of new features and if you look at the list of fixing bug fixes and all of that you'll see that there's a lot of things happening actually in the background within these builds so I think that they're slowing down because they know that we're in a year of transition from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and that things need to be done right and things need to be done so that people are confident that they want to move to Windows 10 if they're on Windows 7 still because I mean a third of all PCs are still are running Windows 7 right now that's a lot of computers a lot of computers that you know probably amounts to like three or four hundred million PCs or, or not far from that and um, that is a big number and of course uh, Microsoft needs to do it right if they want to kind of have the confidence and have people think they want to move on to Windows 10 one thing for sure they don't want to have a repeat of what happened last year with the April and the October 2018 updates so uh, that's pretty much what I have if you have other questions about the future of Windows 10 uh, please ask and we can, we'll do these regular videos talking about what's coming up next um, a lot of you have been asking can you do a little recap of 20H1 or what is new actually in the future of Windows for uh, next year so I'll be doing that uh, uh, either later today or tomorrow so you guys can take a look at that if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching our videos on this channel